This is my previous smartphone and this is my current iPhone 12 mini that I use since launch day. After two years of everyday usage, I have a lot of thoughts that I want to share with you. So let's get started. The year is 2020, standard phone size around that time was at least 5 or 6 inches. And some companies started experimenting with even larger display surface to bring much bigger screens to our pocket devices. And here comes unexpected. With this year iPhone lineup, we got a new body size called Mini. I was instantly hooked, not only because of this masterpiece trailer, but with a new flagship smartphone with newest processor and cameras packed in such small form factor. Finally, some company has listened to the request of the niche and delivered a real dream phone for many people who can't or don't like big smartphone trend. But reality had verified this dream. And results are unimpressive. Yeah. We all know about Samsung Galaxy S10e, but this was never a flagship device in the first place. I really like iPhone 12 mini design and smaller form factor. Maybe that's nostalgia, but it surely reminds me about a model that I always wanted to have, the iPhone 4. Nearly identical flat glass back, holding up by flat and nicely cut frame with similar big volume buttons. Round cameras are also located in the same place where iPhone 4 camera was. And looking at the bottom of the phone, we can find the charging port is also almost identically placed between speaker holes. Modern differences are most visible at front. 5.4 Super Retina XDR OLED display is very sharp and definitely more than enough for this kind of small device. We cannot find any button on front anymore, but the notch appears instead and looking carefully at it, we can find a lot of components required to run an excellent Face ID feature, more about it later. We are used to iPhones coming without audio headphone jack nowadays, but don't worry, all iPhone 12 models come without headphone jack, audio adapter and for the first time, charger. About stereo speakers, I can say that they are pretty decent, loud enough to comfortably hear phone calls while cooking and good enough to play your favorite meme track to your friends on the go. Cameras are still one of the greatest and I never forget how big quality upgrade they present in relation to my old phone. On the front, we got 12 megapixel camera capable of recording 4K 60fps videos. On the back, we got 12 megapixel wide and 12 megapixel ultra wide lens with fantastic night mode and solid image stability. Wow, that's a lot of 12s in iPhone 12 for sure. To this day, quality does not differ as much when I compare my photos with friends' newer phones. How is this possible that technology invented 7 centuries before Christ can totally redefine functionality in modern devices? I love MagSafe feature and with iPhone 12 we can experience it for the first time in iPhones, especially combined with wireless charging. I'm always using my MagSafe dock or wireless power bank and I can't imagine going back to wires again. A14 Bionic in pair with 4GB RAM memory makes this phone crazy fast, even to this day, and I don't experience any lag at all from this device while using multiple apps at one time. With this form factor and screen size, I can reach everywhere with my thumb with no issues at all. 12 mini is so handy, compact, and if we talk about comfortable, the small size of this device is ideal to me. But with the small size, comes small capacity. And unfortunately, this is true. Battery is the weakest part of this device. And don't get me wrong, it's not awful, it's just small. If you are not intense phone user, iPhone 12 mini battery can last up to one day cycle. But when you are doing a lot of tasks during the day on your phone, better prepare power bank for extra juice. The advantage of small battery capacity is faster charging over the bigger ones, so using the fast charging feature makes this phone charge really fast. It takes 30 minutes to achieve 15% using USB-C charger and little less than 2 hours for 100%. As of today, my battery health is on 85% after 2 years of daily usage. 
I predict that one more year and battery performance in my device could be a real problem during the day. Fortunately, updates slightly extended the battery life in 12 mini. And speaking of updates, this smartphone comes with iOS 14.1 right out of the box but can be updated to the newest 16.1 with no issues. The number of new features that this smartphone received after its original release is just awesome. Futuristic haptic feedback when using keyboard, app tracking transparency, the feature allowing you to choose to be or not to be tracked by apps, hide your email from unwanted companies or apps, totally redesigned do not disturb mode, called now focus, Feature allowing you to create special do not disturb profiles where you can specify who and when can call text you or what app can send you notifications and what notifications. The most advanced feature using AI possibilities to recognize and copy paste text from any image, photo or video you want and going a step further copying entire elements. Face ID got a new ability to recognize your face even when you are using a mask. It uses now a unique face features around your eyes to determine if you are the phone owner. Whole new fresh and modernized lock screen that allows you to personalize it the way you like it. And that's only naming a few of them. I can even say that this phone evolved and gets only better with functionality since when I got it. And after two years, strange things started to happening. Because I always wanted a small size phone so badly and when the time passed by, I started to missing bigger screen. Consuming more media and doing more advanced tasks like photo corrections and even sometimes video edit, I really started to think about a bigger screen for doing more precise tasks and being more comfortable when, for example, watching videos. And, at least to me, this is the main reason why people bounce off from 12 mini. They lived in misbelief of a need to have a small phone, but when they get it, they started to see more disadvantages rather than advantages. For some of them it was about screen, for some about battery life and handy form factor doesn't compensate those lacks. But a lot of people, and me as well, are glad that this kind of modern small smartphone even came out in 2020. It had managed to build its own dedicated community and in my opinion it was a successful experiment that resolved disputes about small sized smartphones. With 14 generation of iPhone launch Apple removed 12 mini size from their flagship portfolio due to a poor selling in this specific market segment. But I don't exclude that this small design won't come back in form of an iPhone SE with budget components and of course budget price range. That would be a fantastic compromise and I think that everyone would be satisfied. As it comes to my decision, I personally want to move on to a bigger screen, but I'm still waiting for a more revolutionary iPhone to release. Also, I got a Samsung Fold on my eye and I think it would be great to experiment and test it, but for now, I would definitely rock my iPhone 12 mini more. It is still an excellent device and for 2023 I'm recommending it for everyone who wants to test small smartphones. What do you think about iPhone 12 mini? Tell me in the comments below if you could rock smartphone this small nowadays. Remember to like and subscribe to show support and encourage me to create new videos. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.